Dude, they didn't even. I remember the first time they had an Asian come by us, right? They had an Asian. Uh, and, uh, and so we were fired up because we'd never seen an Asian. You know, we'd seen, <sighs> you know, drawings of them, but that was about it. And we were like, holy shit, dude, we need to go and we need to see them. And so we, I remember we cut grass, me and two of my buddies, probably for six weeks. And uh, you saved up for a trip to see the Asian? Yeah, it was like probably it was about twenty five bucks, probably to maybe get a taxi over there. <laughs> and uh, and we got a taxi there, and it was just a laundromat. It was like a dry cleaners or something. No Asian. We waited there. I remember probably four or five hours, and uh, and then we took a taxi back, and that was it, man. And so I think for a long time I kind of had a um, not a feeling of abandonment, but. I guess I had some sort of a feeling of abandonment when it came mistrust. to Asian people. Yeah, mistrust. Like they let you down a little bit? I don't know if let me down, but just didn't. I don't know. Something. I'd have to think of, think about it more maybe with a therapist, but something like that. <laughs> you, you know? You are you're a fucking bird. It's good you stopped doing drugs. You do know that, right? My father used to, you know, he was just, he didn't have any money. And he spent, he usually lived in like kind of poor places. And he would mostly buy his cars he got from a lot of brothers, local brothers, you know? And so he bought a Cutlass one time, or Delta 88, I think it was. And they had speakers in the back of it, right?